inside the firing room at the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, they are counting and they are watching everything. We can see the clock now uh, coming up on two minutes to go till launch. Uh, they are making the final preparations, uh, uh, trying to take uh, advantage of this opening. In a moment, the crew will be instructed to close their visors. Memories cleared, no unexpected errors. At OTC to flight crew, close and lock your visors, initiate O2 flow, and enjoy the ride. CDR, Roger, thanks a million. Okay, let's go for ET LH2 pressurization. Throughout the morning, they have been watching the skies. The uh, ceiling at 8,000 feet has been a problem, and uh, the weather has been a major concern. Uh, no problems with the orbiter. But the weather, uh, they had uh, showers in the area earlier and uh, thick cloud cover. And then at the uh, landing site, they had a problem uh, with uh, the ceiling. It was below 8,000, so they simply switched runways the after uh, taking the shuttle landing the aircraft, uh, the training aircraft, start. through a potential scenario of a return to launch site. Uh, they found that uh, the visibility was good enough. They configured their computers and are now uh, counting down uh, the last final seconds. Uh, the visors are closed on the five astronauts aboard it. And, and let's listen in now as the uh, count continues. T minus one minute. The ground launch sequencer verifying main engines are ready. Residual hydrogen burn igniters are armed. T minus 45 seconds. Sound suppression water system armed. That will release water at T minus 16 seconds at the rate of 900,000 gallons a minute. T minus 31 seconds. We have the handoff to Atlantis's onboard computers. Atlantis now controlling. 25. 20. T minus 16 seconds. Sound suppression water system operating. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. One engine start, three good engines up and burning, two, one, zero, and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Atlantis and the Gamma Ray Observatory, seeking out the explosive forces of the universe. Cool program, Houston. Roger, roll, Atlantis. Houston now controlling. Roll maneuver complete. Placing Atlantis and crew in the heads-down attitude and on course for its 828 and a half degree inclination orbit. Engine throttling down now to help maintain uh, optimum aerodynamic conditions as Atlantis accelerates through the dense lower atmosphere. Engine throttling further down now to 67%. Velocity 860 feet per second. All systems performing well. Atlantis now beginning to emerge from the uh, region of maximum dynamic pressure. Engines are throttling up. Atlantis Houston, go at throttle up. Atlantis's three main engines burning at 104% rated thrust. Velocity 2,200 feet per second, altitude 67,000 feet, downrange distance eight nautical miles. All systems performing well. The next uh, milestone in this uh, climb to orbit will be uh, solid rocket booster burnout and staging. That coming up in just about 15 seconds. We have confirmation of a clean separation on time. Guidance has converged. Uh, velocity now 42. As you could see, down. the solid rocket boosters uh, finished their work and are now uh, falling back into the Earth, where they'll be recovered. 
and uh, it looked uh, like a beautiful liftoff. Uh, as you can see, it went through the clouds very quickly, and uh, the long-range tracking cameras, however, are still uh, providing a, a pretty good picture of Atlantis. That is, as it uh, continues to burn off its three main engines, there is the uh, launch pad area uh, where Atlantis was just a couple of moments ago. So uh, Atlantis is on its way to orbit, the beginning of a five-day mission to deploy the Gamma Ray Observatory, and we should also have a spacewalk uh, coming up in the first part of the week. It uh, going, promises to be a mission high on drama. The uh, Gamma Ray Observatory is the heaviest non-military cargo that has ever been put into space. So Atlantis is on its way, and it appears uh, they are headed safely to orbit. They have passed the solid rocket booster separation, which is uh, what everyone looks to as far as uh, safety. Once the uh, solid rockets are off, uh, it is a little easier to return back either to the launch site or the transatlantic abort site. So the beginning of the mission is uh, underway, and we, of course, will continue to have live coverage throughout this mission with the Gamma Ray Observatory and a six-hour spacewalk by two astronauts. We want to uh, take you back just a few moments now and take a look at the last few seconds of the launch, uh, a launch that uh, was delayed a few moments by the weather concerns, but the clouds opened and they fired the engines. Engines up and burning, two, one, zero, and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Atlantis and the Gamma Ray Observatory, seeking out the explosive forces of the universe. Roger, all the minus. Houston now controlling. Roll maneuver complete. Placing Atlantis and crew in the heads down attitude and on course for its 828 and a half degree inclination orbit. This is the 39th shuttle mission and the 14th post Challenger mission. Uh, CNN's John Zarella joins us now from the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, John, how did it look from your vantage point? Well, I think for the people here who may have been watching their first space shuttle launch, a little bit disappointing, uh, if you can call any space shuttle launch disappointing. That cloud deck that it went through obscured the uh, the view, some of the most dramatic portion of the view of an ascent for about 20-odd uh, seconds or so. I was, I was watching the clock. Uh, but it was, uh, it was pretty, as usual, and you certainly could feel the excitement here at... Uh, at the uh, Kennedy Space Center. It was up. interesting that uh, they delayed for those few minutes so they could reconfigure their computers uh, so that they could change the direction of which they would land on the RTLS runway here in case they had to come back. So, uh, but they got that out of the way and the, the bird is on its way for a big mission, Tom. All right, so Atlantis is on the way and it is uh, making its eighth flight uh, since its maiden voyage back in 1985. The last time that it uh, flew was November 15, 1990, when they were flying on a Defense Department mission. A rather ambitious next two months ahead for NASA. They are planning three flights, with one later this month. We, of course, will have continuous live coverage of the Atlantis mission throughout the week here on CNN. Stay with us.